You have 45 seconds to deliver your answer, and when your time is up, you will hear this sound. It means the elevator is here. Are your phone is ready? Ready to get a notification. Your GCash has just hit 5,000. <laughs> All right, Kurt, I have to say, this is the final round, the final showdown. Are you nervous? Yes, of course, because I said that I have a nervous system, but this is the last chance that I can get the crown. That's why I need to do my full test, and hopefully, I am your Queen Philippines Universe, the last woman standing by God's grace. First, good luck to you. Here we go. May we call on Queen Philippines co-founder, Wendell Casito, to hand in our final question for tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause once again for the, one of the founders of Queen Philippines. Love you, Wendell. to make sure that no one has read it prior. It's equal playing field, fair is fair. So sealed, the more I've got there, did it? Okay, here we go. You ready? Well, I have to be ready. Okay. To be read? Here we go. How would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? No. Once again. How would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? How would I describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? Ladies and gentlemen, yes, given that he has not, he doesn't have the sense of seeing, then definitely I will use the other senses, such as the sense of feeling, taste, and all the senses that we could use so that I can explain the colors of the rainbow. Red signifies as love. Orange symbolizes as empathy. Yellow for joy. Green for nature. Blue for peace. Indigo for strength. And violet for victory. And this, I can explain it to a child by being added to her and hug him so that he can feel the colors within me. Good evening. Thank you very much. It's Samis Oriental. We move on with Kazan Province. Hello, Kazan Province. We do. We are also the other day. Hey, Anna. Hey, how are you? How are you? <laughs> All right, Kesa Province, are you ready for your final question for today? Hello. Oh, Hello. 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 And your final question is, how would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? I'll repeat. How would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? Ate po ipapaliwanag sa isang kulang na bata kung ano nga ba ang kulay ng mahaghari. Sa simple, pag pagpaparanda kung gaano kasaya ang buhay namin mga LGBT. Aking ipaparanda kung gaano ngiti ang naibibigay namin nang sa ganoon, ang sayang iyon ang laging magpapaalala sa isang bulag na bata na kapag masaya, ito ay sumisimbolo sa bahag hari. Kaya laging po natin tatandaan na kapag katapos ng ulan, Palaging may bahaghari at ang lahat ay nagsasaya kapag may bahaghari. Magandang gabi. Thank you very much, Quezon Province. Next, please join us at Tigo City. Thank you. 
Chicos. Hello, good evening. Congratulations on making it to the top seven. Mm -hmm. We're going to go straight into it, okay? Thank you. Take a deep breath. Here we go. How would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? Once again, how would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? I would describe that to a visually impaired child to look in my face and see the biggest smile on my face. It is because the, rain the color rainbow possesses happiness and joy. We from the LGBTQI community are happy not because we have everything that we have, but because we are happy enduring all the challenges in life. I am happy not because I am rich or wealthy. I am happy because I am contented for what I have been and for what God has given me. The colors of the rainbow will truly shine, that the true color will always be in your heart, and it will shine through from within. Thank you so much, Digo City. Up next, Zamboanga City. Hello, Zamboanga City. Good evening, and congratulations. You have 45 seconds to answer your final question. And here it goes. So, Boca City, how would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? I repeat, how would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? Thank you so much for that wonderful question. Being visually impaired is not easy. So, with that, all you have to do is to let the child feel. This is all about feelings. At the end of the day, we are all human. We have feelings. And I would describe it to a child as if it's a feeling of peace, happiness. Regardless of the darkness, you will feel that there's a light. And that's the feeling that we need in life, positivity. At the end of the day, I always go back to the core. And that is knowing the purpose in life and always looking at the right side without being able to see it. You can see that there is good in everything. Now we all thank you. Thank you very much. It's a Bunga City. Our next finalist, Bulacan. She's still in the running to becoming the Lars Queen, right? Hashtag right. the Lars Queen. Here, here we go. Here is your question. You have 45 seconds. How would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? Once again, how would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? Well, it's hard because no matter how hard you explain, they have no idea what color it looks like. But if I do it my way, I will use my voice. I will shout. I will cry, I will laugh, and I will whisper. Why? Simply because rainbow represents our differences. And that is our life. We cry because we fail. We shout for equality. We will laugh tonight to those people who look down at us and last day I will whisper, My dear, I know you feel different because of your disability. Just like how I feel different because of my gender. But always remember, just like the different colors of the rainbow, you belong. We belong and that no one will ever be left behind just like how the colors of these rainbows unite. Thank you in the eye of the Bering National Award. Thank you very much. Bulacan. Bulacan is left. Please join us here. Got a man. Here we go. Her fourth time joining, and now we're in the top seven. Congratulations. Well, maybe four times the charm. Here we go. Armen, you have 45 seconds to answer, and your final question is, how would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? I'll repeat, 
How would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. As a teacher, it is always 80% of our visual and what we see that we interpret interpretation. But as an impaired child, I will be able to describe a rainbow color through feelings, physical touch, happiness. Rainbow, as we see, is a symbol of happiness, pride, and joy. Ladies and gentlemen, if we, if we let the impaired child feel happy, he will be able to describe rainbow by his own imaginations, in which he will feel freedom, he will feel proud, he will feel joy. Because at the end of the day, no matter how many obstacles we have in life, there is always a rainbow after the rain. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Carmen. And of course, last but not least, Quezon City! Congratulations! Thank you very much. Okay, we're gonna go straight into it. You have 45 seconds. You ready? I hope so. This is a question that stands between you and the last final edition Queen Philippines crown. <gasps> Here we go. How would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child. Once again, how would you describe the colors of the rainbow to a visually impaired child? To a visually impaired child, I would describe the color of the rainbow by getting his hand and making him feel what my heart says. Tonight, heavy is the head of the one who's wearing the crown but she can extend everything by means of empathy. Let us always remember that through empathy, everything is possible. And by just looking at Queen Philippines, it is the colors of the world. Thank you very much, Quezon City!